Welcome back or welcome if you are new here in today's video I will show you five Google Forms tips and tricks you need to know when working with Google Forms. So let's dive in. As you probably already know to assess Google Forms you can come to your drive or you can simply type a Google Forms on Google or use url docs.google.com slash forms. So from here on you can start creating your form you can use one of the templates or just simply click on the blank. Now I have done another video Video tutorial in details showing how to get started and how to set up your form so if you need more guidance how to use Google Forms I will leave the link in this video description so now let's just jump in and open one of our forms and tip number one is if you want to send responses to uh, people who have submitted your form, you want to reply to your responses you have received on your form, then you must make sure you have enabled one of these settings. So to get started, you need to come up on the settings, then come down on responses and click on this drop down right here and here you will see collect email addresses so by default this option will be off so if you are planning to send responses or you know any other follow-up questions to your form submitters then you should enable this option okay and then you also once you have done that you will have option send responders a copy of their response so you can keep this one as off or only when requested or always that's really up to you the main thing is for you to enable this feature right here so you then collect the email addresses and you will be able to reply to the responses you have received on your Google Forms. Tip number two is that you can set up email notifications. So once you come on the responses tab right here, there are zero responses since this is a new form, but if you come on this three dot little menu right here, and then you have option get email notifications for the new responses. So if you want to uh, send replies to your form responses you have received, so you have enabled to collect email addresses as per tip number one. And then if you come here, you will actually get notified whenever you have a new responses and you can reply to them quickly. So click on this right here and you will see pop-up saying email notifications enabled. Tip number three is regards actual form creation. So if we come on the questions right here and again I have done another video tutorial how to set up the questions and use this menu. Now what I would like to suggest and recommend when you have a longer forms and you have loads and loads of questions within your form sometimes it's very useful to create sections. So once somebody opens the form they will not gonna see a long list of the questions uh, in a long row they all will see the first section so to do so if you scroll down on this menu on the bottom and click on add section okay you can see this is section one out of two and uh, you can do this process several times and simply like a sort of group your questions into simple sections so once somebody loads your question he will only see the section one first okay and once it's done then you can move on to the other question so as I said it's really useful if you have a lot of questions in your form and you just want to organize and separate them into the sections. Tip number four is to use embed feature on Google Forms. So if we come on send you will see you have uh, several options and from here again you can see you have enabled email collection okay so that's uh, working and then if you come on this sidebar right here and click on this you will get embed html code and you can embed your form so you might be aware that you can send your form through email you can also share it with this link okay but you can also use html code and right here you can specify the size for your form now to use this code you simply need to copy it okay you can see it's copied to the clipboard and then you can embed it on your web pages so on this channel we do lots of tutorials with google sites and i have just loaded a blank google sites page and then if i come on a sidebar on embed or simply double click and click on embed you can then use uh, this feature embed code simply paste your code click on the next you will be able to see the preview and then click on in set so since we haven't done any questions on this form that's pretty much how it will look like right now however once you have done your form all your questions will display right here okay and then somebody can just submit uh, the information using this form so you can use a google form also on your contact pages 
or any other like uh, surveys or anything else really how you want to collect data simply by embedding it on your web pages and it will work anywhere uh, where you can embed any HTML code. Now regards the Google sites you don't really have to go this way to embed it if you click on the insert tab and scroll down you can assess your Google forms from here as well simply because Google already integrates all its products within the Google site so from here you can simply just click and then uh, you know insert this form on your page as well I'm just showing you an example how to embed it if your site is not maybe built with Google sites all right let's jump back to Google forms and tip number five is to edit your confirmation message so if we come back on settings then scroll down on a presentation and open this drop down if it's closed you see you have options of showing progress bar a shuffle question order and so on now if you are doing quiz you probably don't want to shuffle question order and if you are interested how to do the quizzes with Google Forms, again, I have done another video tutorial and there will be a link in this video description. So now we have next section of confirmation message. So you see by default, anyone who submits your form will get this response. Your response has been recorded. And again, you know, it's not very personalized. So what you can do is click on edit and then you can just type your text right here to create a more personalized a message maybe if your form require response you can let your audience your um, you know people who have submitted your form in how many days you will respond to it and so on especially if you're using it for contact um, as a page right so here you can just type and create your personalized confirmation message for the people who have submit your form let me know in the comments how you are using google forms and if you would like to share any other tips and tricks i would love to hear from you thank you so much for watching now if you need more advanced tutorial on how to use a google forms uh, even if you are a complete beginner you can go ahead and watch this video as a next one thank you so much for watching if you would like to see more tutorials like this do subscribe and turn on the notification bell now go ahead watch this video as a next one and i will see you then